In part six of our SharePoint intranet series, I'd like to show you how to build grouped views. So remember, we've built lookup lists for metadata, five different apps, and the apps that I have on my intranet right now is a document library, I have an FAQ list, and I have a um, gallery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate um, to those apps, and we'll go and build the first basic grouped views on these apps. So these group views will be my kind of a all items view, if that uh, makes sense. So when people navigate to um, the specific um, library, they can then look at all the policies per department, um, etc. So in this uh, documents library, my the brain, I'm going to go to the settings of the library and I'm going to go to library settings. In library settings at the bottom, you'll see the views that are created. I never edit the default views that SharePoint gives me. I just don't. I've lost uh, views like that, and then I couldn't access content again without great dif difficulty. So I'm going to create a view, and I'm normally descriptive about my views. So I'm going to copy it from the All Documents view. And the first view I want to create will be grouped by Department, and then it will be grouped by document type. So you'll see that I give it a descriptive name um, in there. I don't need to have the modified or modified by or the department or the document types in there. I don't need any of these because I'm going to use these views as web parts on pages. And uh, the sorting will be by name. I'm not going to do any filtering right now, but I'm going to group it by, firstly, we said department. And then my second grouping is document types. Okay, so there we go. Let's take a look and see if that's working. The moment there's only one document in there, of course, so it's going to be grouped by human resources and then it's going to be grouped by policies. I'm going to create another um, grouped view while I'm here. So I'm going to go back to library settings and uh, scroll down. I'm going to create another view and I'm going to copy it from that department document type view and I'm going to swap it the other way around. So I want another view which is uh, document types and then grouped by department. So now this is quite easy. I've already done the setup, so I can just scroll all the way down to group by and say that I want this to be grouped by document types and then grouped by department. That's why metadata is amazing um, to use in intranets because uh, I can look at the documents in different ways because people find documents in different ways. I wouldn't have been able to do this if I worked with folders. So that is the document library. Let's quickly go to um, to the... FAQs and we'll do the same there. In the FAQs, I've actually worked um, just with the department column, remember? So I'm going to group it by, so I'm going to say create view. And in this one, I'm going to say copy it from all items. So um, I'm going to just call this grouped by department. And again, I don't need to show the department, but it's questions and answers. And my grouping is going to be by department. And now I'll have a very cool view when all my items are loaded that groups this by department. So it will show me all the questions and answers per department grouped. And then the last one that we're going to do is the gallery that we've set up. So I'm going to go back to site contents and I'm going to go to the settings of our gallery. I called it eyeballs apparently. <laughs> I'm going to go to settings and um, I'm going to create a view here. And I'm going to copy it from all documents. I'm going to call this um, grouped by events. I don't have to show all of this modified event. I don't have to show. And I'm going to group it by event. So then that will group all my photos by event. And of course, in the libraries, I can choose to display this um, so that it shows the thumbnail, remember? So it's set to show the thumbnails, which means I can now have um, an item that's grouped by the specific um, event that I'm searching for. So just to go back to um, this gallery. So if I go back to the view, there's my group by events. You'll see it's going to group it by event, and then as soon as I expand the event, I'll be able to see the photos under it. So that's a quick one. That's me setting up my grouped views. We'll be looking at filters, filtered views next, which we're going to use for our departments, etc. Catch up soon.